Hello, my name is Sean Ridley from General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems. I'm here to talk and discuss our uh, V-22 internally transportable vehicle for United States Special Operations Command. General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems teamed with Flyer Defense, our teaming partner, to help develop and provide the United States Special Operations Command with an internally transportable vehicle with a 6,500 pound flight weight for V-22 internally transportable vehicles. We've uh, recently been selected for a contract to support an evaluation uh, for United States Special Operations Command for a V-22 uh, internally transportable vehicle in a search and rescue configuration. This is our armored configuration. Well, a base vehicle supports a multitude of, of uh, configurations. We have search and rescue variant, we have a tactical variant, we have a C-4 variant, and then obviously we have the armored variant here. It's a very specific mission set to go on the V-22. Uh, we've got a very light tactical vehicle that carries a a 2,000 pound payload inside the V-22 allows the users to not only carry themselves in the vehicle but a, a, an exceptionally amount of gear. Each base vehicle supports each mission kit. Uh, the litter system that SOCOM uh, recently uh, was award awarded us is for a litter configuration of four uh, litter patients on top of the vehicle. This is for a search and rescue configuration. The roll cage goes on top of the vehicle, put four patients up, three or four, three to four users inside the vehicle. Secondly, you can take two of the litters off and go in a tactical configuration and mount the 50 cal weapon station as well as side mounts into the vehicle. The main requirements for the vehicle were to carry a minimum of a thousand pounds of payload in the V-22, which is very hard to do. You've got to keep uh, ground pressure on your tires, axle weights. It's a very strict requirement, 60 inch by 60 inch configuration uh, to carry all of that weight. Good morning, my name is Dave Stahl from Senior uh, Manager for Business Development at General Dynamics. The weapon behind us is a GAN-19 Bravo 50 caliber Gatling gun. Uh, it is suitable for a variety of applications, uh, rotary and fixed wing aircraft, ground vehicles, and some naval applications. It's a Gatling gun, so it has three barrels. Uh, the barrels rotate as the weapon fires. It's externally powered and it's in 50 caliber, fires the same uh, round as a 50 caliber Browning machine gun. Uh, weapon is set up right now at a 1300 rounds per minute rate of fire. Uh, overall the weapon weighs 106 pounds and uh, again is suitable for a variety of airborne and, and ground applications. Uh, advantages of this weapon system, uh, the overall advantage is first of all the rate of fire uh, and the reliability. Being externally powered, this is an extremely reliable weapon. Uh, mean rounds between stoppage is approximately 40,000 uh, compared to 1,500 to 2,000 for a Browning recoil operated machine gun. Uh, so very high reliability. Overall life cycle cost is much lower than a Browning machine gun. So you have reliability, you have higher rate of fire, uh, overall uh, better weapon for soldiers on the ground.